Good afternoon, pipe smokers. Amber here along with Mark making change over there. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> we are at the Will, Wa Will Rogers. I can't talk to <laughs> Coliseum. We are at the Fort Worth Gun and Knife Show. And we have some tobacco from Blue Collar Piper. And it's, what's the name of it? Pigeon Creek. Pigeon Creek. From Sergeant Miller's Pigeon Creek. We're going to try it and then we'll give a review of it later as I hold it in my left hand. You have an earthquake. <laughs> the camera might be a little And I want to show you guys something. Okay, see that? What is that, Amber? That controls your turn signals. That's my turn signal. No, that's your turn signal switch. It controls the turn yeah. signals. It's my turn signal switch. Okay, well, when you yell at people from now on, yeah. the car in front of you that doesn't turn on his turn signals, you say, use your turn signal switch. No, I'm going to yell, use your damn turn signal. Signals. How many of those are there in my car? There is one indicator switch. There are multiple turn signals. There are multiple lights. There are multiple indicators. There's one turn signal. Switch. Signal. Switch. Mark is now lighting his pipe. What mm. kind of housekeeping? What kind of pipe are you smoking today, sir? As the window does not cooperate. It's a knockabout. No name Italian knockabout. Gotcha. One of the best smoking pipes ever. That's weird. See what I have to put up with, folks? So damn lucky. Yes, you are. There's still your tamper. Yeah. Mine has a beard. Mine. And my hobby pipes won't fit. Why is the wind on my side of the damn car this time? Yeah, me. It's not bad at all, actually. I thought it was going to be real strong, bite, you know, ow. Yeah, well, we ain't at the bottom of the bowl yet. That's true. Well, we'll get back to you at the end and we'll let you know. We'll let you know once we're at the end of the bowl. Back from the Fort Worth Gun and Knife Show. Change of venue. Change of pipes. Change of tobacco. Can I change everything? Estate Calabash with the Mearsham Bowl. And smoking some Dunhill 965 in it. And it's tasting good. Is it good? Ruling the world! It's ruling my world! You're smoking the. Um, I'm smoking my Tulip Mirchon. What's um, just for him, Lane 1Q. Very, very nice. Very nice. You're right. Taste, just tasty. Sweet, not really up unless you like. Burley. Not oh. a big Burley fan. Want to show them? We didn't leave the Fort Worth Gun and Knife show empty handed. No, we didn't. Uh, you want to show we didn't buy any guns. No guns. No guns. But, you want to go first or want me to go first? Okay. You can go first. You can go first. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. That first. was the first thing we got, wasn't it? 
Yeah, the first purchase of the afternoon was this little pink knife for me. I only found one. Let's so I can get it to open. See? Nice and pink. Not too, too, not too big, not too small. And second knife purchase was? The second knife purchase was, I don't even know what the heck it is. I know it's made in the USA and it's a knife. So is mine. <laughs> One of them kind of nikes. Uh, little belt loop thing, so that's what I'll be opening my stuff with from now on, or slicing my fingers with from now Preferably on. Preferably not the second. And then we both got. No, that was the third. That was the last thing. We have to do that first. That was before. Oh, in between. Okay. Yeah. So then, in between, at the gun and knife show, <laughs> we go there. Knives are probably used in the processing of this. They got free samples of stuff. And so we had a free sample of this buffalo jerky, and I tasted that. Actually, I tasted the venison first. We tasted venison first. And but you know, I was like, okay, that's all right. But let me try that buffalo. And I tasted the buffalo. I was like, ooh, that's good. I like buffalo. I haven't tried the buffalo yet. And she had the, the I teriyaki. tried this one. The teriyaki stuff. Which is beef, which is really good. So we were just gonna buy one of them, but they had a deal, so we bought a whole bunch more. That's turkey. Can't see it. Sorry. There you go. Smoked turkey. Turkey smoked. Smoked turkey. More buffalo. Oh, and then and there's another beef. Uh, another teriyaki because I ate part of it. In the refrigerator. So. I got hungry. Yeah. Just like uh, smoking Oz style and all that in their barbecues. Ours coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Ours coming back. We don't go. To, we don't go to the butcher and have them cut a whole rump up and some nice juicy steaks. That would be you know? kind of cool though. We're gonna go. And then last but not least. Do it at the same time. Sure. Because she said she's used one before. We got another one. Of course, he opens it the wrong way. I'm sorry. Wrong button. It doesn't have that. Yes, it does. Get out of town. Watch. Okay, close it up. All right, hang on. Well, yeah, you can't even do it one-handed. I'm good. It tells you I've been. Is that a snapper? No, no, no. It's right here. Look. Watch. Oh, clever! It does work that way. Anyway, she used that, so we sharpened them. I used to have one when I worked for the city. It was great for tearing open trash bags. And hopefully. Not our hands. Up. So that's so, what we bought. That was our day out on uh, Sunday. Town. Sunday, yeah. Our Sunday afternoon. That's gonna work. Come on. See, there's no draw on this thing. I'm sorry. I got a good draw on mine. Starting to color really good. I mean, normally, when you suck in like that, you pull that flame all the way down the bowl, and then yeah. you get the flame down the bowl. That's why I don't like this pipe that much. It's cool looking, but I don't like it very much. It has. It's a calabash. It needs. It's not sealed somewhere, and I've tried to seal it everywhere I can seal it, but I can't get it to be airtight. Terrible. You know, I, no, no, it's, it's pulling in air from outside instead of straight oh, through okay. the draw hole. I got you. And that's screwing up. That's why you're going <laughs> just to try to get something down there. And to change pipes. That silly calabash has. Well, I talked about what it has, and you can't smoke out of it until I fix it. <clears throat> okay, we said we were going to finish the review on the Pigeon Creek that we never did finish. Which, by the way, this is a new day. This is the day after. This isn't like we got home. We got home the other day went by. Matter of fact, there was a storm in between. Yeah, um, there's a couple videos in between the last one. The Pigeon Creek started off nice. It, I, I can't put my finger on it. I mean, I know it's kind of a vapor, but it just has kind of a bite to it that after that we smoked it down a little bit further, I didn't particularly care for it. Yeah. Um, it was, which we figured it was Burley's, and it was just really, really strong compared to what we normally like. And so later... It was almost too strong for me. And later on, I tried the uh, Sergeant Miller's Sunday... Uh, Brunch? Did I say brunch? Sunday brunch. Yeah, Sunday brunch. Yes. And that had a lot of burly to it. And, and Jerry, nothing against your your tobacconist blender friend, but I don't particularly care for burlies and they don't they don't work with me well. Some about yeah. burlies gives me a really bad tongue bite. Too much bite. Yeah. Um, kind of made kind of made me sick to the stomach a little bit. Really? Yeah, had a little bit of that too much nicotine. Stomach ache. Might have been that, yeah. yeah For me, it, it gives me kind of a mouth burn. I get a real bad tongue bite with it. And uh, the. So, 
and we smoke them with bur we smoke a lot that are mixed with burley, but they're just not heavily burly. There's just a mix butter. of it. I didn't even smoke the badass burly because of what I told you about my thing with the burly. Kind of scared to try it. So, um, me anyway. what I want to do is, if it's okay with you, I'm going to find somebody who likes burly and pass that on so that they can uh, try out your thing. And they may really love it. Some people are like, Burly Man 40, he likes burly a lot. So, we'll pass that on. But thank you yes. anyway for you know, you. sending me and letting me try it. Letting, yes, us, letting us try it. Yeah. He was actually nice enough to share with me. Because yeah, I know it was straight to him, so but Mark actually shared. Yeah, thank you, for, but thank you very much. I mean, like I said, we, we we do enjoy trying it. We do find some that we don't like and that aren't quite in our taste category, I guess you could say. But you know, I tend to go towards more of the arrows anyway. But there are some of the Englishes I like, but that one was just almost too much burly for me for my taste. So. Um, Keep on puffing. Use, Use your damn, damn turn, turn signal. No. 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 Plural. And. The end.